increasing prosecution of human trafficking criminals. Good evening, I'm Jade Belexa. Thank you for watching the News at 6. Governor Rick Scott was joined by Attorney General Pam Bondi, members of the Florida legislature, as well as law enforcement officials, to sign House Bill 989 and 7147. These bills will increase prosecution of human trafficking criminals and provide better services to survivors. Advocates, stakeholders, and victims were present at the signing of the bills. House Bill 989 prohibits minors from working in adult theaters and removes time limitations to allow a prosecution to be commenced for certain human trafficking offenses. House Bill 7141 provides definitions and makes changes to rules and guidelines that the Department of Children and Families. It will also assist the Department of Juvenile Justice and community-based care lead agencies in administering safe house. After signing the bill, Governor Rick Scott said, quote, I am so proud to sign these two important bills today that increase protections to victims of human trafficking and increase criminal penalties related to human trafficking, end quote. Scott also added that as a father and grandfather, he understands the importance of protecting children and he feels that we must do our part to restore a sense of security for them. Well, less than a month ago, an underage prostitution operation was uncovered in Tallahassee. Two people were charged with arranging the illegal sexual encounters and using teenage girls as the prostitutes. Police say they found evidence that the teen was involved in prostitution at local hotels on North Monroe, and it may have been against her will. Investigators worked for months to track down Derek Reddick and Christine Thurman. They were able to rescue two teenage girls who Reddick and Thurman are accused of forcing into prostitution. Scott released three years worth.